Cinderella is a kind and pretty girl. She has many animal friends. Cinderella lives with her mean stepfamily and their nasty cat. She does all the chores. The stepsisters yell at Cinderella. Cinderella's stepmother is Lady Tremaine. She does not like Cinderella. She gives Cinderella more chores to do. The family gets a letter. The prince is having a royal ball. Everyone in the kingdom is invited. Cinderella must finish her chores before she can go. Cinderella finds an old dress in the attic. She can fix it. She can make it pretty. Cinderella and her friends are excited. Lady Tremaine gives Cinderella a pile of clothes to sew. In the meantime, Cinderella's friends fix her dress for her. The birds add bows. The mice add ribbons and beads. Surprise! Cinderella loves her new dress. Her chores are done. She can go to the ball. Cinderella looks pretty. Her stepsisters are mad. They do not want Cinderella to go to the ball. They tear her dress and pull her beads. Cinderella is sad. Then the fairy godmother appears. She turns a pumpkin into a coach. It will take Cinderella to the ball. The fairy godmother gives Cinderella a sparkling dress and glass slippers. Cinderella is ready for the ball. She must be home before the magic stops. Cinderella arrives at the palace. She meets the prince. He asks her to dance. They take a walk. They fall in love. It is late. Cinderella must go. She runs down the stairs. She loses a glass slipper. The magic stops. Cinderella's dress and coach change back. She still has one glass slipper. The prince's true love is gone. He has her glass slipper. The prince's father wants to find her. Lady Tremaine locks Cinderella in her room. She does not want the prince to find her. Cinderella's friends get the key to her room. They unlock the door. Cinderella tries on the glass slipper. It fits. She is the prince's true love. Cinderella and the prince get married. They live happily ever after.